So we are going to read Cinderella Big Foot. It's written by Mike Thaler, illustrated by Jared Lee. Cinderella Big Foot. Once upon a time, about 8.30, in the land of make-believe, there lived a girl named Cinderella. Now, there were a lot of funny-looking people in the land of make-believe, but Cinderella was the funniest. Her most outstanding feature was her big feet. When she stood up, she looked like a seaplane. Cinderella lived with her beautiful stepmother and her three beautiful stepsisters, Winnie, Whiny, and Mo. She also had a beautiful step cat, a step dog, and a step ladder. The size of Cinderella's feet caused her many problems. She bounced off the ceiling in ballet class. She was she always lost at hopscotch, and she had to buy a sock for every toe. Ouch! Whoa. However, the worst problem for everyone else was that when Cinderella's bunions bothered her, she'd take off her shoes and leave them around town. The giant, smelly shoes would block doorways, stop traffic, and take up four parking spaces at the mall. So, when the king and queen of, of the land of make-believe gave a dance party, they naturally didn't invite Cinderella. The king saying, what about Cinderella? No, it just wouldn't be safe. On the evening of the ball, stepsisters stepped into their, their party dresses. Isn't it exciting, said Win Winnie. Tonight the prince will choose a bride, said Whiny. I hope it's one of us, chirped Mel. Cinderella wasn't much interested. She was trying to remember where she had left her other sneaker. Soon it was time to leave for the ball for the ball. Goodbye, twittered Cinderella's stepmother. Goodbye, chattered Winnie, Whiny, and Mo. Where can it be? As soon as they were gone, Cinderella put up her feet and turned on her favorite TV show, Lifestyles of Royal and famous. Suddenly, a cow wearing a blonde wig and a pink tutu appeared on top of the TV. Would you please move your tail? asked Cinderella. You're blocking the screen. I'm Elsie, your diary godmother, replied the cow. I and I am here to send you to the ball. I wasn't invited, said Cinderella. Cow waved her golden wand. Just then, an invitation dropped through the mail slot. Voila! I don't have a thing to wear, whined Cinderella. Elsie waved her golden wand again. Cinderella was suddenly wearing a glamorous, gl gl glittering crown. Gl oh, <laughs> that's hard to say. Cinderella was suddenly wearing a glamorous, glittering gl gown. I can't find my other sneaker, sniveled Cinderella. The cat twirled her rump. 
wand. And Cinderella's feet sparkled. Two glass sneakers. Wow. Backstroke. I don't have a carriage, moaned Cinderella. Take the bus, said her diary godmother, handing Cinderella some change. Thank you, di diary godmother, said Cinderella. Said Cinderella. She turned to leave. One more thing, said the cow. You have to be back before the clock strikes twelve. Sure, sure, said Cinderella. Bye. Cinderella arrived at the ball. Everyone pointed and said, Who's that funny looking girl? Prince Meldred, who was quite funny looking himself, raised his head from the punch bowl and sweatered, Who's the doll? Want to dance? Let's trip the light, fantastic big boy, said Cinderella, twirling. Ouch, said Smodred, you stepped on my foot. The two began to dance. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Maybe we'd better sit this one out, howled Smodred hopping up and down. Just then, the clock struck 12. Time goes fast when you're having a ball. I have to go, shrieked Cinderella. But who are you, cried Smeldred, rubbing his feet. I'm late, she replied. That's a funny name, said Smeldred. Who was it too swift? What's your address? What's your phone number? What's your sign? But Cinderella was gone. She'd left behind one glass sneaker, size 87, triple A, that locked the doorway, so everyone had to leave her back door. I'm going to find that girl, bowed Smeldred, using a tow truck. She, he howled the sneaker to every maiden in the kingdom. Each girl would put in one foot, then two feet, then both hands. Finally, Smeldred arrived at Cinderella's house. Weenie sat in the sneaker. It fits, she shrieked. Next, said Smeldred. Then Whiny and Mo stood, there, stood in the sneaker together. It fits, they, sh they shouted. Next, sighed Smeldred, feeling a little discouraged. I'll Just then, Cinderella lumbered into the room. Oh, there's my other sneaker, she cried and slipped it on. Everyone stared at Cinderella's foot. It fits, they gasped. Would you marry me, said Smelger, throwing himself at, at her feet. Only if you'll marry me, replied Cinderella. The prince grabbed a donut and put it on her finger. Then they rushed out the door to live happily ever after. Well, at least the prince will be our stepbrother-in-law, cried Winnie, Winnie and Mo. Yeah, but it's going to be hard to fill Cinderella's shoes, sighed their mom. Poor babies. Just then, Elsie appeared on the top of the refrigerator. Shoe must go on. She 
thundered with a wink and poured them each a glass of milk. The now I have a joke for you guys. Why is Cinderella bad at soccer? Because she keeps running away from the ball. Get it? Like, you know, there's two kinds of balls. There's a ball like in this book when like you dance and stuff. And there's a ball where like it's a bouncy ball. Thank you for listening with me. Hope you have a great day. Bye.